Hello, my dear students and viewers. Welcome back to my channel, Scorpio Class. So here I am with one more important video of, for all the class eight students and my dear viewers, as this video is going to give you the model question paper of class eight of mathematics. And yes, this is the model question paper of March 2024. And it's going to be very helpful for you all as it's going to help you for your preparation of your board examination. So let's get started. First main here remains the multiple choice question type of uh, questions here. And here the main idea is to help you all in preparing for your exams. And so that's why I'm showing or sharing the model paper with you all. So let's quickly go to the questions as to how and what kind of questions will be asked for your maths examination. So let's read the heading. Four alternatives are given for each of the following questions. Choose the appropriate one and write along with the alphabets. So let's read the questions quickly. The rational number that does not have a reciprocal is. You have four options. Correct. Answer should be written. Next, the operation that is not closed for rational numbers is. Next, the unit digit of square of 169 is. Okay, four options are given. Find out the answer and you need to write it. So I'm just giving you the question so that you get a clear idea. And if you need to pause the video, just pause the video and observe the question and the options. Fourth question, a linear equation in one variable among the following is. Observe all the four options and then try to find the answer. Next fifth question, one of the like term of 7xy is. Next, if x and y are in direct proportion, then for some non-zero real constant k. So you need to find again within these four options. Next one is one or more outcomes of a random experiment make dash. Is it experiment, chance, trial or an event? Okay. Uh, next one, eighth question, a nine-sided polygon is called dash. I think it's an easy one and you can find out, right? Next question, with the usual notations, Euler's formula of polyhedron is dash. So which of the formulas is the right formula for Euler's for a polyhedron? You need to find out. Okay. Observe and mark the right answer. Next, among these numbers, 108 is completely divisible by dash. Okay, next. Usual form of 100 into A plus 10 into C plus B is dash. Okay, I need... Okay, next question. Perfect cube among the following is. Which one is the perfect cube? You need to find among these four numbers for options i hope you all are getting the question and the pattern and the way the question is are asked okay 13th standard form or scientific notation of 0 0.000003 is dash okay next question percentage percentage form of 3 is to 4 is dash okay the data that changes continuously over periods of time can be displayed by dash. Again, it's an easy one. You can find out and mark the answer. Okay, next question. A die marked with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on its faces. One number on one face is thrown once. The probability of getting the outcome 2 is dash. Okay. So here you end with MCQ questions and if you need to look the page or the question for a longer time, you can pause the video and look at it, observe and then think and give the answer. Next, moving to second question, second main questions. This are one mark subjective type of question. So here question 17 is how many natural numbers lie between 11 square and 12 square? Okay. Next, observe the adjacent figure and write. 
coordinates of point K, point whose coordinates are 2 and 0. Okay. Next, write the formula used to find total surface area in square units of a cuboid whose length, breadth, and height are seven uh height are L unit, B unit, and H unit respectively. Next, in the coordinate system, where does the point whose x coordinate is zero and y coordinate is non-zero lie? Okay, next comes to my questions. 24 years ago, ratio of ages of Rama and Shashi was 4 is to 5. Now the ratio is 8 is to 9. Find their ages 24 years ago. Okay, here you need to do some calculation and steps. So please look into it. Next question, by prime factorization method, find the cube root of 2744. Okay, factorization method, you need to do it. Next, subtract 3 minus 7x plus 5x squared from 7x squared minus 4x plus 2. Okay. Next, 24 question, you have to divide by factorization. Factorizing the expression which is given over here. Okay, I hope you observe it. You can pause it and observe and try to solve the sum. Next, find the sum of the interior angles of a 10-sided convex polygon. Okay. Next, six identical pipes are required to fill a tank in one hour, 20 minutes. How long will it take if only, if only five pipes of same type are used? Okay, it's a word problem. You need to solve it. Okay, fine. Then next type of question will be three mark questions. Here, find the smallest perfect square that is divisible by 6, 8, and 18. Okay. Next word problem. Suvarna so purchased a watch of rupees 1460. After a few months, she spent rupees 340 for its repair and sold it at a loss of 8%. Find its selling price and hence the loss incurred by her. So this is a perfect word problem over here. Okay. Next, construct the quadrilateral 4 with FO 5.5 cm. O U four centimeter, U R five centimeter, and R F four point five centimeter, and O R is equal to six point five centimeter. Okay, so you have to do some geometry work over here. Consider the quadrilateral measurements are given over here, so you can do it. And next question as a four mark. Next will be a four mark question. Length and breadth of a rectangular garden are 30 meters and 22 meters respectively. Find the total cost of constructing a path of uniform width 1.5 meter around and outside this garden at the rate of rupees 150 per square meter. Okay, so look at the steps and then try to solve it. You may have similar kind of questions in your textbook too. So refer it. Next is five mark question. Shweta spends her time during a day for different activities as follows. So activities are given and time that is in hours. In school, she spends six hours. Homework, four hours. Play, three hours. Sleep, eight hours. And others, three hours. You need to draw a pie chart for this data. Okay, so I think you need to do the calculation first, take out the degrees, and then accordingly you need to make a pie chart and uh, figure it out in that pie chart. Okay, so this will be your last question, and I hope this video would have given you an idea of what kinds of questions would be asked in your exams, and it was, uh, I hope this video will be helping you in preparing for your exams. So stay tuned for more such videos, and do hit the like button and share it with your friends. We'll be back soon with more such videos.